Tracy, black boots or coloured boots and why? Um, I like coloured boots. I think they're more girly. I don't know, it's just something about them. I actually really like white boots. At the minute though, I'm such a small size, I'm like a five, so I can only get black ones, so I'm raging. <laughs> what about the new pink ones? Um, yeah, they're lovely. I don't know like about them going really well with our blue jerseys, but uh, I know like loads of kids and like there's actually mothers and others in our uh, club now and loads of them are, have gotten them boots, so. I stick to black. I stick to black. Coloured ones are a little bit scary for my like. I think it puts you under too much pressure to perform, so I try to stick to as much as neutral colours as possible. Definitely not the new pink boots. Um, yeah, black boots. Depends on who's wearing them, though. Some people can pull off the coloured ones, but I might stick to the black. Now, what other county other colours? I think Dublin have a lovely jersey, I must say. It can sometimes kill me to say it, but I think Dublin is one of the nicest jerseys going. God, I'm not sure. Um, I really like, the, I do like the Cork jersey, I have to say. It's like, you know, red is, is nice, so I suppose it's a winning jersey as well, so it's nearly attractive. Uh, I'd have to go with my own native cabin jersey. <laughs> uh, oh, you'd have to pick Dublin, the blue, sky blue, yeah. I'm going to ask you to have a look around your panel now and pick out a pundit. Who from the Monaghan ladies football squad would make a good television or radio GA pundit? Um, Neve Kinlan. I think she's been around, you know, she knows she knows her football inside out, she knows her players and I think she'd be excellent for it. Uh, probably Hannah Noonan because uh, she's a bit of a joker in her team and she loves to do a Tommy, a Tommy impression. A what impression? A Tommy impression. Tommy is our manager and he's very passionate about, about his game and he comes out with classic one-liners, so yeah, I'd say Hannah. Uh, definitely Vaughan Byrne, definitely, yeah. Uh, she's wishy and she's she's a good knowledge of ladies football, so after sir. I would say Ashlyn Kyo, she's actually just on our squad, um, but she's so funny and she has the funniest laugh ever. I think she'd just <laughs> take the out of piss out of everybody. <laughs> Can I ask you to pick a winner for the senior championship this year at home? Who do you think? Uh, I suppose going on the weekend's performance, I'd probably call Dublin. Um, yeah, so I'd say Dublin for senior. Um, it'd be a tough call between Cork and Dublin. I don't know, I think maybe Dublin, probably because we've actually played them and you know, I've just seen how brilliant they are and they're flying. But you can never rule out Cork, just the experience is unreal. So I, I can I probably think it'd be Cork and Dublin in the final and it'd be a tough one to call. Well I suppose it's it's very hard to look past Cork. Um Cork had a great monster final win there at the weekend against Kerry. So and then they are what, eight time All Ireland champions, so you can never rule them out. But the competition is very tough this year. I think it's getting tougher and tougher every year as things go on. But you know, yeah, we had a, unfortunately we had a terrible um, loss there last weekend in the Ulster final. But sure, you have to move on. You have to learn from it. And hopefully, that's what we're going to do for the future. The focus is on getting people to come out to support the games. Be the difference. Be there. What would your message be to supporters, particularly in Mayo? I think one of the main things I'd have to say would be for women in Mayo to come out and support the women because I think that's one thing that people kind of miss, miss is that maybe women aren't supporting the women as much as they should be. It's not that we shouldn't always be looking to the men to support us, we should actually look at our own too. So that's one thing I'd have to say to Mayo supporters because, you know, looking at last year and the year before Mayo men got to the All-Ireland final and the amount of people looking for tickets and it's crazy in Mayo looking for tickets. But, you know, if we were in the All-Ireland, you know, you'd wonder then would they be, they mightn't be as mad to go to the game. So just women support women.